morning from Kamakura, Japan. On this Sunday, July 25th. Beautiful day. Beautiful yellow trumpet bush. Maybe you can see the full growth here. Yeah, this one is quite longer here. It seems to have grown upward quite a bit. And look at all these flowers. My goodness. A lot of new flowers. It smells just wonderful. Very sweet, wonderful aroma. And over here as well. Very nice. We had six flowers in full bloom. That is so nice. Oh, I see Mr. Spunk wants to come out. Good morning, Spunky. How are you? Come on out. Good boy. You slept well, didn't you? Yeah, huh? you want to check on my strawberries? Yes, we have some flowers there. Yeah. <laughs> I swear Spunky's part pig. Well, he grunts like that. So, very beautiful morning. And uh, as you saw in my community post, uh, we're expecting a typhoon. Typhoon number eight. And make a forecast, anyway, to make a direct hit on the Tokyo metro region. What does that portend for my garden here? Well, these stakes are driven in quite well, quite deeply, but I'm sure there will be some damage. Luckily, the harvest is mostly over. As you can see, there are a few more uh, areas here up top that I can harvest from. Hopefully, if the uh, storm doesn't uh, destroy the plant completely, if it topples over, that's okay. But, uh, you yeah. know, and it's a little ways off, so hopefully by then, those two tomatoes in there will have ripened a little bit more, enough that I can pick them. The ones down below here, well, I don't think they're going to get any bigger than that. And you can see the uh, that curly cucumber is getting a little bit bigger. Uh, there's another curly one over here. That's getting bigger. And uh, unfortunately, there's one in there that's got blossom and rot. We'll go around and take a look at that in a minute. There's a nice big tomato here. Actually, there are two. Okay, over here. Uh, these two yellow ones here, I'm going to uh, just put them in my pocket. Yeah, I was out here the other day, I think yesterday, yeah, picking some fruit. Yeah, someone mentioned that I should uh, just go ahead and eat them right away. <laughs> I can't do that. I'm alone. Spunky likes tomatoes, and I do feed him every meal time. Uh, I cut some up for him, and he loves them. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you can't eat it all at once. And that's what uh, saving some for later is all about, uh, either freezing or canning. Sure, it's nice to have wonderful, uh, fresh... Uh, fruit, tomatoes, cucumbers, and whatnot, but, uh, yeah, it's always good to save some for later. Yeah, I mean, I do enjoy them every day, so, uh, yeah, that's nice to do. It's nice to have, so that I can enjoy them. So, the second round of our, uh, green beans, looking very well. Luckily over here, I think they'll be shielded mostly from the effects of the typhoon, so I'm not too worried about these. Um, I may move these uh, two here, maybe over here against the uh, wall here. Yeah, maybe all four of them can fit against the wall here. Yeah, so they won't get damaged, be protected. Yeah, so no worries there. Let me see how's everything else. The zucchini. Yeah, this is doing much better. I don't see any flowers forming, but uh, it looks a little better. This one here, well, I'll just leave it be. The okra, I'm glad they're not so big. 
I might be able to cover these when the storm comes. You know, if they were much taller, they would just blow over and maybe snap. But uh, yeah, luckily, they're still quite small yet. And I think I can protect them with cover. Cover such as this here, this netting. I can put over top of that. Okay, let's take a look inside here and see what we have. Hi, Spiker. How are you? Where are you going? Okay. So as I suspected, yeah, there is some rot, um, blossom end rot there. Seems as though something was trying to get at this. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Oh, well. Okay, let's see what else we have here. So we got some tomatoes growing here. This looks pretty good. I'm going to move this back behind the posts just to give it added extra support. Um, I see we have some cucumbers coming in here. That's good to see. See those two there? That's good to see. I'll just uh, drop that back down in there. Okay, anything else? Nope. Well, more flowering here, so we might get more cucumbers. Pollinators can get in there and do their thing. Good. So, Spunky. Good morning. You ready? See any other growth in here? Nope. Our ginger is uh, doing okay. And the tower. The tower looks good. What else do we have here? How about over here? Yeah, we'll see. Oh, this is doing well. And also, I'm glad that this uh, is at this stage. If they had long uh, leaves and branches, they would be tossed about in the uh, typhoon and damaged. So I could even take this inside just to keep it safe. What are we doing over here with the radishes? I think we're about done here. Well, maybe not. I'll leave them be for a little while and see what happens. Uh, maybe some can come, like this one here. Yeah, that's fairly big. Well, yeah, let me just go get the big ones, see what we can do there. A little handful, not too bad. Okay, the lower terrace, how are we doing down here? Oh, got some ripening here. Yeah, very nice. Nice ripening. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take these inside with me. Oops. Yeah. More growth way at the top here. It's good to see. See our sunflowers are doing well. Them too. I'm glad that they're not so big. They'll survive the typhoon. And one more over here. It hasn't quite turned around as I expected, but uh, that's all right. Okay. Any more ripening? See, this is how uh, I get the volunteers. A fruit will fall off and. Uh, just lay there until the next season, and I'll just leave that be. Yeah, I think this one here is ready to come inside. Yeah, this one here is too tempting for the birds, I think, so I'll take them inside. Well, there's still a nice cluster left. It's a bit quieter this morning than it was the other day. Yeah. Much quieter. I wonder if the cicadas can sense the typhoon coming. Still a couple days off. It's Sunday. It won't be here till Tuesday morning. But uh, I think maybe by tomorrow night, Monday night, uh, we'll start to see the effects of the uh, typhoon coming in. Everything else looks okay. 
no more flowers on the zucchini. Uh, and no fruit, of course. Oh, yeah, there's the, uh, there's that curly cucumber there. I'll let that grow a little bit more before picking that. I don't see any others. Uh, I, well, I do see some starting out, but I don't see any really big ones yet. Uh, as you can see, all the tomatoes on the lower level are gone, but we do have more cherry tomatoes up top here, quite a bit. So, uh, yeah, and this is promising too. Nice uh, fruit here and here as well. So yeah, I think we'll be okay for a few more weeks. Yeah, I'm really happy to see the uh, cucumbers flowering there. That should be good. Okay. Very nice, very nice. Over here you can see these have grown quite, quite tall. Well, you can see here how that uh, <laughs> tomato plant has grown all the way up here to the upper level, to the upper terrace. Yeah, you see our begonia is beginning to fade. That's all right. Our uh, green onions are making a comeback. And I don't know if you can see them, but uh, right here is a uh, spider's nest. In late summer, early fall, you get lots of spiders and they weave their webs all around the place here. I leave them alone, especially inside the house, because they kill little bugs that come in. And uh, yeah, spiders don't bother me. Even the big ones, I leave them alone too. I shoo them away uh, if they're within reach, but I don't kill them. I let them uh, cohabitate. What are we doing over here? You know, this is uh, <laughs> making a comeback to reclaim its uh, stone lantern. Yeah, I'm very happy with the uh, how the bush, uh, the rose bush is doing. Uh, it's very nice. Although I'm not happy with this here. This line. I have to keep an eye on this. Let's see, there's more here. That's so better to get it now. Trying not to get stuck by the thorns on the rose bush. Okay. Everything looks fine for now. I hope it's a fast-moving typhoon. I think it will be. And once it hits land, it will uh, dissipate, but... Uh, yeah, the only thing is, right over that ridge there, well, down a few kilometers, about a mile, five miles or so, is Sagami Bay. Um, so when it hits land, it hits us. <laughs> we get the brunt when it comes directly from the east, and this is facing east here. So, uh, yeah, but, you know, these hills will help dampen the blow a bit. So I'm not too worried about that at all. Yeah. This will be my 39th typhoon season in Japan. So a very small harvest today, but much appreciated. This will not go to waste. I will just simply cut off that end and use the rest. No problem. And as you can see here in the kitchen, I've got tons of uh, cherry tomatoes. I've given some to neighbors. I'll give some more as well. But, uh, yeah, these are not going to waste. I may even test out freezing some of the cherry tomatoes and saving them. That'd be nice for a stew or, or some other dish come winter time. Be better than store-bought, because they're from the Kamakura Garden. Oh, and by the way, here are the uh, garlic bulbs that I grew from last year to this year. A little small, but uh, still I'm glad I have them. Oh, I've just noticed uh, some uh, new growth here, and a bunch of clusters here and here. So, yeah, I'm hoping that uh, 
this does survive the typhoon. Uh, yeah, it's attached itself pretty well. Yeah, and luckily I do have the trees here to help block some of the uh, winds. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah, so this is probably the last uh, episode that I'll post before the typhoon. I do have to work tonight into Monday morning, and the typhoon will probably arrive on Tuesday. Uh, I'll be here in the morning, uh, so I'll try to film as much of that as I can, just to give you an idea of what it's like to <laughs> be in a typhoon in Japan. Uh, those of you who are familiar with hurricanes, same thing, pretty much. <laughs> so, uh, But... Uh, yeah, so I'm all prepped. Um, for the most part, I will uh, make sure a lot of those um, uh, pots and stuff are battened down. I'll batten down the hatches, and uh, yeah, and we'll see if uh, this survives. Uh, I think it will. It's it's pretty strong, so I'm not too worried about that. So, yeah. Okay. Well, until we meet again uh, later in the week, in this coming week, do take care wherever you are. Uh, we'll see you again soon. Be well. Bye-bye.